Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing matrices and determinants, and now we are going to solve some questions. So, questions I am going to take on because theory has been completed. So, let us discuss some important questions and difficult questions uh, that I would like to discuss here. So, starting from exercise, uh, exercise 4.2. Exercise 4.1 is quite easy and you can do your own if there is any problem you can ask but exercise 4.2 uh, there are some questions although this is also an easy chapter but uh, still there may be some questions uh, which where you will find problem so let us discuss question number one and question number one is given that there is a determinant x y z a b c uh, you have to uh, write Okay, let me write first the instruction. Instruction is given that using the property of determinant, using the property of determinant, property of determinant, determinant, and without expanding and without expanding from an exercise prove that from 1 to 7 prove that prove that the first question is given here the very first question was x y z a b c and x plus a, y plus b, and z plus c. This is what, and that has to be proved zero. So we can take on c1 tends to c1 tends to c1 plus c2. In that case, what will happen? That would be also x plus a, y plus b, and z plus c. And here a, b, c, x plus a y plus b and z plus c since so that is equal to 0 y since column 1 and column 2 are identical identical and therefore value of determinant is 0 so using first uh, property first question has been proved now let us see the second question and second question is a minus b B minus C and C minus A. B minus C, C minus A, A minus B. C minus A, A minus B and B minus C is equal to 0. Using the property that C1 tends to C1 plus C2 plus C3, we have 0, 0, 0. B minus C, C minus A, A minus B, C minus A. A minus B and B minus C and that will be equal to 0. Since any row or column of determinant is 0, then value of determinant is 0. Since one row or one column, one column of determinant is, determinant is 0, 0, then value is now we are looking for question number third and third question is here that is 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 65, 75, 86 is equal to 0. Here we can do that, that uh, 9, C2, C3 minus 8 times of C2, 9 times of C2, 9 times of C2 plus C1. In that case, 9, 7, just 63 plus 2, 65 minus 65, 0. And in that case, what will happen? There will be 2, 3, and 5, 7, 8, and 9, and 0, 0, 0. So, value will be 0. Now question number 4, 
I'm looking for question number four here. And what is that? One 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 B C C A A B and A B plus C B C plus A and C A plus B. You can see here that will be also zero because here if uh, we proceed uh, C3 tends to C3 plus C2. If C3 proceed to C3 plus C2, then uh, to C1 and C2, C3 will be identical. In that case, C1 and C3 will be identical and therefore value of return will be 0. Let me write that. That would be 1, 1, 1 and A, B, B, C, B, C, C A. A B that will be A B plus B C plus C A, A B plus B C plus C A and A B plus B C plus C A. Since C1 and C3 are identical and therefore C1 and C3 column first and column 3 are identical. Identical why identical? Because all the entries are same, here all the entries are same. So identical and hence value is value of determinant is zero. Value of determinant is zero. So this is what I hope you got it. Now the next question, question number five. Five is there and what is question number five? It is given that B plus C, C plus A, A plus B and that is Q plus R, R plus P and P plus Q and this is Y plus Z, Z plus X and X plus Y that is equal to 2 times of A, B, C, A, B, C and P, Q, R, P, Q, R and x, y, z that we have to do. So we can write here that c1 tends to if r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 in that case what will happen that will be 2 times of a plus b plus c here it will be 2 times of p plus q plus r here it will be 2 times of x plus y plus z and that is c plus a, r plus p and x plus z, a plus p, p plus q and x plus y. So we can take uh, 2 common from first row, taking 2 common from first row, taking 2 common from first row first row and that would be 2 then a plus b plus c p plus q plus r and x plus y plus z that is c plus a r plus p and x plus z a plus b p plus q and x plus y now if i subtract R2 tends to, because there are single elements, you know, C for 2, 2. Here, RHS has only single elements. So, to make it single, if I uh, subtract from R2, R2 minus R1, R2 tends to R2 minus R1 and R3 tends to R3 minus R1. In that case, what will happen? Left here, A plus B plus C, P plus Q plus R and x plus y plus z c minus a minus a plus b plus c is minus b and here minus c there similarly r plus p if i subtract then here it will be minus q and p plus q then minus r here what will happen x and z cancel so minus y and x and y cancel then minus z now if we add these two in r1 R1 tends to R1 plus R2 plus R3 again. 
So what will happen? B and C will cancel out. That will be A, and here what will be left? B, and here X. That is minus B, minus Q, minus Y, and then moreover, there is a minus C, minus R, and minus A. If I take uh, minus one common from R two and minus one common from R three, then two minus one come outside, which will be plus one. And what is left? A B C P Q R and X Y Z. That we have to prove. So this is the proof. Right? This is the answer. So hopefully you got this. Now the next question is question number six. So six question is there, and the question is given like zero a minus b minus a zero minus c and b c zero is equal to zero. So we have to find the property prove the property of this is this is skew symmetric matrix, right now, and the value of skew symmetric matrix is equal to zero. Skew symmetric matrix, and therefore value of this is always zero. Since it is an skew symmetric matrix, since um, it represent a skew symmetric matrix, let us do this. Without expanding it, I cannot go by using property only. Uh, what to do here? I can write here plus a, and then what will happen? This cancel middle term. This cancel so zero minus b c, zero minus b c plus b times of this cancel and this cancel. So what is that? Minus a c minus zero. So that will be minus of a b c and uh, minus a, that is a. And so this can say zero minus minus B C that would be plus B C. So plus A B C and minus A B C is equal to zero. So question number six answer will be zero. Now there is question number seven, and question number seven is minus A square A B A C and uh, B A minus B A square B C and C A C B. And minus c square is equal to 4a square b square c square. This question has been solved in previous video. Please watch previous video. I have solved it. I have taken a common from a b c from row wise and then column wise, and thereafter we have solved the determinant will be uh, able to see previous video. Previous video. Had done this. Now the question number eight, and what is that? Let me explain question number eight. Question number eight by using the properties of determinant. Now we have to solve that uh, eight is also one 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 a b c and a square b square c square, and that is equal to a minus b to b minus c. And C minus A, C minus A. Also, C previous video. We had done this. I have just cut it. So watch previous video. We had completed this, and uh, definitely we are able to get. It. So first part of this one was there, and now the second part. Second part was there, and uh, second part of this category also has been done. One one one, A B C, A B C, and A Q B Q C. That is A minus B, B minus C, C minus A, and A plus B plus C. So we can also watch. See the previous video. Previous video. Right now, we have done this one also. 
Now the next question is question number 9. And we will solve question number 9 here. What is that? x, x square, yz, y, y square and xz and z, z square, x, y. And that is equal to x minus y, y minus z, z minus x and x y plus y z plus z x. This is what we have to prove. This is also done but uh, something different pattern was there. So let me explain this one how to deal with. If I multiply the first row by x and second row by y and third row by z multiplying R1, R2, R3 by X, Y, Z respectively. Then we have to divide by X, Y, Z and if you multiply by X that will be X square, X Q and X, Y, Z. Y square, Y Q and X, Y, Z. And Z square, Z Q, X, Y, Z. So, if I will take x, y, z from this problem, then x, y, z divided by x, y, z and that will be cancels. Now, things are left x square, x, q, 1, y square, y, q, 1, z square, z, q, each 1. So, this is what left out. Now, we want x minus y, y minus z. So, x minus y will come if and only R1 minus R2 and R2 minus R3. So we will proceed. R1 tends to R1 tends to R1 minus R2 and R2 tends to R2 minus R3. Then in that case, what will be there? See, x square minus y square, y square minus z square and z square. x q minus y q, y q minus z q and z and that will be 0, 0 and 1. If I take x minus y from there, from first row and y minus z from second row, then x minus y and y minus z, what is left here? a plus b a minus e. x plus y, here y plus z and z square. Here what is left? x square plus y square plus x y there is y square plus z square plus y z and here it will be z and that will be 0 0 1 so this is a what left now if uh, we need x minus y y minus z z minus x also so z minus x will come if r2 minus r1 is subtracted then y y cancel and z minus x will come. So r2 tends to, we will write here, r2 tends to r2 minus r1. In that case, what is left here? r1 will be same, x minus y and y minus z, x minus y and y minus z was there and uh, that will be x plus y, x plus y, x square plus y square plus x y, 0, here z minus x will be there and here z square minus x square plus y into z minus x and that will be also 0. So, and that will be z square z q and 1. Clearly, I can take z minus x from here, z minus x, z plus x and z minus x is there. So, z minus x can be taken common. So, taking z minus x common from this, you will have x minus y, y minus z, z minus x. Let this one be the right this side. And what is left there? taking z minus x from r2 we have what is left 
x plus y, x square plus y square plus x y and 0, z minus x is being taken so 1 is left and what is left here x plus y plus z and that would be 0, z square, z cube and 1 and since I have taken x minus y, y minus z and z minus x, 3 factors are common. Now expanding along third column, now on expanding along third column, expanding along C3, third column, then this will be cancelled, this will be cancelled, this multiply by this, so x plus y into x plus y plus z minus x square plus y square, this multiply by this minus this, you know, and plus x y, so that will come. And what will be the factor here after? x minus y is here the factor. Say x minus y outside y minus z and z minus x. So what will happen? If I write it, then that would be x square plus x y plus x z and y multiply by this then x y plus y square plus y z minus what will come that would be x square minus y square minus x y and factor y x minus y y minus z and z minus x they, they are the factors so y square and y square cancel x square and x square cancel x y and this x y cancel and now what is left that is x minus y, y minus z, z minus x and what is left here? x y plus y z plus z x, x y plus y z plus z x and that is the proof. So proof, this is proof. Okay, I hope you got it. Now the next question is question number 9 uh, has been done. And now question number 10. The next question is question number 10. And question number 10 is given that x plus 4, 2x, 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 x plus 4 and 2x. And that would be 2x, 2x and x plus 4. So that is equal to 5x plus 4 into 4 minus x whole square. So solving question is not difficult but you have to take care that what you need to do and why you do that. Every step before writing what happened that most of the people are solving the question of determinants without thinking properly. They used to write some steps and they are unable to proceed it further because without thinking properly one cannot write any steps. Um, so think that what you need to um, write and what is required. So in this way you see 5x plus 4. If I will add them 2x plus 2x, 4x plus x, 5x plus 4. So that all being added then 5x plus 4 will come in each of the rows. So first let us see that we can write here that c1 tends to c1 plus c2 plus c3. Then what will happen? That will be 5x plus 4, 5x plus 4 and 5x plus 4. Thereafter, second column and third column will, will remain unchanged. That is x plus 4 and 2x and 2x x plus 4. So the thing is that we can take 5x plus 4 because it is also required. So taking 5x plus 4 common, what is left here? Then that would be 1, 1, 1, 2x, 2x, x plus 4 and 2x and 2x and x plus 4. That would be required. Now you need to bring more, many, as many as possible zeros in the determinant so that it would be easier to solve. 
So we can subtract R1 minus R2 or R1 minus R3 and R2 minus R3. You can do anything. Or if you want to uh, write it uh, that uh, R2 minus R1 and R3 minus R1, then also possible. So let the steps I can write here. R2 tends to R2 minus R1. R3 tends to R3 minus R1. So what will happen? And why I am doing that? Because if I will write here R2 minus R1, then 1 minus 1 is 0 and x plus 4 minus 2x is 4 minus x. And here it would be also 0 and 1 factor is 4 minus x is required. So that is why you have to see that what is required and why uh, I am writing any steps. And you should write the same by observing that what will come. If you know that, then definitely it will be easier to solve the questions. Otherwise, it will be very difficult. So, yeah, R1 is not going to change, so I can write it as it is 5x plus 4 into 1, 0. So, 1, this is not going to change, no? R1 is not going to change. 1, 2x, 2x. That will be 0, 4 <coughs> minus x, and 0. And that will be again 0, and here it will be. 0, 2x minus 2x, 0 and uh, 0 and that will be 4 minus x. So now of course we can take 4 minus x and 4 minus x common from this. So taking 4 minus x common from R2 and R3, we have, what we have? 5x plus 4 into 4 minus x 2 times common that is squared and that will be 1 0 0 2 x 2 x and that is 1 0 0 1. Now if I am expanding along first column then what will happen? If I am expanding along first column then in that case Expanding along first column, then in that case, this will cancel, this will cancel 1 multiply by 1 minus 0, this multiply by this minus this, so 1 minus 0 is 1. So, expanding, expanding along first column, we have 5x plus 4, 4 minus x whole square and 1 minus 0. And that is 5x plus 4 into 4 minus x square, isn't it? And this is proof. I hope you got it. Now, one more question I am going to take on here, and that is uh, question number 11. There is a question like uh, given here. It's a very good question, in fact. C and try to understand A minus B minus C 2A 2A that is 2B and B minus C minus A and 2B and then 2C 2C and C minus A minus B and that has to be from A plus B plus C whole K. So let us see uh, how you can get A plus B plus C. If I will uh, proceed that minus b is there and 2b is there. So minus b plus 2b, b will remain and minus c 2c then c will remain. So if I am proceeding that uh, like uh, r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 then things will be a plus b plus c in first row every first row. And in that case what will happen? a plus b plus c. a plus b plus c a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c and this is 2b, 2c, 2b minus c minus a, 2c and 2b and c minus a minus b. That will come. Now, if I can take a plus b plus c common from a plus b plus c common from 
R1, we have A plus B plus C, and then this will be 1, 2B, 2C, 1, B minus C minus A, and 2C, and that will be 1, 2B, and C minus A minus B. Now, we need to bring maximum 0, and 0 can be obtained if I write here like a steps like C2 tends to C2 minus, right here, C2 tends to C2 minus C1 and C3 tends to C3 minus C1. In that case, what is left? What is left? Here. Let me write. In that case, outside this will be A plus B plus C and the steps are 1, 2, B, 2, C and this will be 0, 1 minus 1, 0. If I subtract 2B, then that will be minus of A plus B plus C and that will be 0. And if I subtract 1 minus 1, that 0, 2B minus this, then that will be A plus B plus C. And uh, if I subtract 2C from it, then it will be minus A minus B minus C. That is the surface. And now expanding along first row, then this cancel, this cancel. This multiply by this is a plus b plus c equal square minus 0. So that will be expanding along. Now expanding along R1, we have a plus b plus c whole. And that is the proof. This multiply by this, you know. This multiply this minus this. So it will be positive of a plus b plus c whole square and minus 0. So a plus b plus c whole square will come and 1 a plus b plus c equals outside of this. So that will be a plus b plus c whole cube. Right? Now there is a second part of this question and second part of 11 is that is part 2 of question number 11. And that is also given here like in form of x plus y plus 2z, right? That is x and y here, z and x, y plus z, y plus z plus 2x and that is y. And let me z and uh, x and z plus x plus 2y and that is equal to 2 times of x plus y plus z whole cube, right? So, we will have to write like this. So, how can you get it? If I add them, then that will be 2x and 2y and 2z is already there. So, we can proceed like to c1 plus c2 plus c and then what will happen? That will be C1 will be 2 times of x plus y plus z, 2 times of x plus y plus z, and 2 times of x plus y plus z. That will be this, and here it will be x, y plus z plus 2x, x, y, y, and z plus x plus y, z, 2y. Right? So that is 2y. Here I can write like this. Now what will happen? Uh, we can write it taking taking two times of x plus y plus z common from common from c1. So what will happen? Two x y z will come, and here what is left? One 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 x y, y plus z plus 2x, x, y and z plus x plus 2y. So that is left. Now what is the purpose? To bring maximum zeros and zeros will come if I will write like r3 tends to r3 minus r1 and r2 tends to r2 minus r1 then R1 is not going to change, so we will write it like x plus y plus z and 1 x y, that will be 0, 0. 
y plus z plus 2x minus x is x plus y plus z and y minus y is 0. If I subtract x minus r3 minus r1 then it will be 0 and z plus x plus 2y minus y is x plus y plus z. I hope you got it. Now expanding along column 1. Expanding along C1, we get what will happen? 2 times of x plus plus z into if you will expand along this, then that will be cancelled and this will be also cancelled. So, what will happen? This multiply with this minus this. So, that will be x plus y plus z whole square minus 0 into 0 and that will be 2 times of x plus y plus z and this is that we need to find out. So basically we can prove like this. I hope you got it. Isn't it? 2 times of x plus y plus z will be that is the proof of this. So some more questions are still left but uh, after the break we will discuss and uh, hopefully we will get this. So please Keep watching and uh, also I refer to your friends.